everyone, this is Alton, and today I have the pleasure of sharing with you the Radio Link T8S BT. Now, BT stands for Bluetooth. Now, this guy was sent out to me, uh, and it actually came along with my Radio Link D460 Flying Wing, which is a fantastic aircraft. I love it, absolutely love it. But you can actually purchase this guy separately with a couple of different optional receivers for your aircraft. It is a Bluetooth radio and you see, I actually have the app here on my mobile device. It connects Bluetooth with your mobile device or it can connect to your computer. You can download the app for your computer as well so that you can actually make some changes to it. Initially, it had no expo. So when I went out to fly, my elevator was just a little, a little twitchy. And so I am now able to go in and actually change my mixes. And I really wanted to share with you a lot of features about this particular radio. However, this radio is so good. <laughs> it's got so many features and it's so much detail that I'm not going to be able to do that in a short video. But what I'm going to just share with you is the radio itself really quickly. So of course, you have your control sticks up front. You do have your trim switches like most radios do. Power switch in the middle. Status LED indicators here in the front that will notify you of different statuses and different things going on with the radio and the connection to your aircraft. Right now it's just letting us know that we have 75% battery left because it does have a built-in battery. It does use a USB micro connector on the bottom. It does come with a cable so you can charge up the in internal battery and that battery should last you for quite a few flights. So it'll last way longer than any particular battery in your aircraft is going to last. You have your different channels here, uh, channel 5, 6, 7, and 8 here. This guy is set up in mode 2 and then it is also set up AETR if you're looking here, A ele ailerons, elevator, and then throttle, and then rudder. So uh, one of the switches is actually turn, uh, currently set up to turn off your throttle. If you go into the manual for the aircraft, that if you purchase it with an aircraft or if you want to go in and create the mixes necessary in order to turn off your throttle, then the, the manual will absolutely show you how to do that. It is a relatively thick manual and it has a ton of details on how to use the app as well as how to use the uh, app on your computer and what each one of these settings do. Just to show you something really quickly, DR curve, this one will actually allow me to go in and change my expo, which is what I've done. So channel one, I have on my ailerons, I have a 30 percent ex expo usually the exponent is and it softens your control it's not as sensitive when you're actually flying your aircraft the exponent here does that and i've got that on that channel a and and my elevator channel as well and if you go to your throttle channel you notice that the line is straight i have no exponent on the throttle and for the flying wing it's a it's, it, i don't have a rudder set up on it so um, I don't have expo on the rudder and I don't really think for the rudder is really that necessary this is a super super cool little radio um, connecting it to your Bluetooth is, is very easy you don't really have to do anything on the radio just turn the Bluetooth on on your phone it will find it um, when you hit connect and it will let you know that it's connected and once it's connected you can hit any of your buttons on the front and it's just going to connect and you're good to go and like I said you can actually see your tra your travel for your your different control sticks just to verify that everything is indeed working and one of the things I will tell you as well is that um, these are not showing you outputs it's actually showing you the input if you're buying an aircraft a radio link aircraft that comes with this radio uh, unless you know what you're doing don't bother going into and changing your settings. Um, but if you want to change your settings, you have a pretty, pretty good idea of what it is that you want to do, like setting your expo and you understand what that is. And there are plenty of places where you can get information on that. Then you can go ahead and make those changes and it should work out very well for you. I am really looking forward to uh, using this radio a lot more in the future, as well as many other of the Radio Link radios. I do have a few, like this guy right here, <laughs> which is really cool. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking this guy out with me. I really appreciate it. Hope this helped you out in some way. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Take care.